bit of a different video today guys uh, I don't really do rig making videos on the channel firstly he doesn't get much views and secondly I'm very slow uh, doing them but uh, some of you guys been asking uh, have I tied uh, my bass rigs so here it goes I'll put a video together hope you enjoy it and uh, these these are the some of the bass I've, I've caught with this rig hope you enjoy and tight lines Hello and welcome back to another video guys. As you can see, I'm not on the beach targeting bass. However, I'm making uh, some bass rigs as I'm doing it. I'll show you how I do it. Uh, some of you guys have been messaging me if I can show how I tied, tied these bass rigs. Basically, it's one up, one down. My version of one up, one down. Uh, flatter, flatter rigs. Using a T-knot, basically what it does, it just keeps off the, uh, the this hooks in it, uh, stays off the rig body. When you cast, it doesn't tangle, or when, you, when it sits on the tide, it just keeps away from the rig body. So it just kind of uh, maximizes the uh, catching rate, really. That's how I find it, anyway. Um, this is a pre-made, I've just made uh, before this video. I'm not sure how clear you can see. There are the knots. This is probably the cheapest uh, <laughs> rigs uh, you, could, uh, you could make really. I'll show you the components I'm using. All it is. Four hooks. Lead clip and a swivel. The line I'm using is 30 pound amnesia. These are the hooks I'm using. I'll uh, I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to check them out. Only cheap from eBay and Amazon, I think. Let's crack on. What I do is just like keep the line on the screw here. I don't uh, cut it at all. I'm just using one long line to make a one rig. Um, I start from the top just create a loop like this, big loop that's about 40 cm, no, about 30 cm long round about hope you guys can see And that's a big loop there and then another loop pull it up and then pull it down a bit and then all we do is just from from the back one usually three turns two That's three, three turns, and then put it nice and slow, bit of sliver, pull it hard, that's so nice and tight there, so what we got is just like a big leap, the GoPro decided to <laughs> turn off itself, I've charged the GoPro um, a couple of days ago, just turned it on and it just it's been recording by itself so I've been having issues with your GoPro as well recently so that's what we got is here uh, big loop then that's a tag end there and that's a main line so all I'm gonna do hope you guys can see it try 
twist. I think this is a twisted boom, something like that. You usually do five to eight, that's six, I think. After twisting that five to eight times, depends. I'm gonna get this this loop here through this loop, this loop. Not the easiest guys, so the, the camera angle is not the best neither. But you get the idea. So grab all that loop, big loop. That's what we end up with there. Pull it nice and slow. Let the line. Pull it hard. And then that's what we end up with. That's a T knot there. As you can see, the line's uh, sticking out and keeping away from the rib body there. Right then, cut the bottom bit there. Leave it a little bit tag in there, just in case if it did, if it did slide. So that's what we end up with there. This will be the top chase. That's a bit too long for my liking. I'll cut it a little. So that's about 30 to 35 centimeter long. And that's the top of the rig where this will be all going to go. Just do the quick uh, block knot. Just use your own uh, knots that you're comfortable with. Only doing block knot because nice and easy to do. There we go. Top of the rig. That's one of the you need. Next, circle up first and the bottom up. Hold the line together. One, two, three, four, five turns. Should do it. That's it. Pull it. Make sure it's nice and tight. Leave a bit of tag end for when you slide the worm up, it doesn't slide down then. I tend to keep the top chase nice and small. That's about a foot long. Right then, about here, this is where this uh, left clip going to go. Same again, fake loop. Three turns. Just nice and tight there. Same again. Create another loop.
and twist two, three, four, five, six all day. Then big leap going through this leap here. Make sure that knot goes in front of this loop here, so it sits behind it, as you can see there. And pull it nice and slow. Wet it. And that's what we got. Another T knot there, guys. That's what we end up with, that's a bit too, too long. So put it there. Lead clip. Same again, what not. One, two, three, four. Four turn. Pull it nice and tight. Tight end off. So far, what we have. And then, I usually go a foot and a half for the bottom chase. About 45 to 50 centimeter long. Circling first, bottom up, same again, one, two, three, five, five times will do. Push it together. Tagged off. As I mentioned before, I'm not the fastest rig making, hence you don't see much uh, rig making videos on the channel. That's a rig done, guys. Simple. It's the knots that takes uh, longest to tie, but it's very really effective. It's been uh, doing the damage last three sessions. I've caught about 40 bass using this method yeah it's been working very well so this is the rig hope you guys can see about 20 40 yeah about 45 centimeter long bottom trace and then about 30 centimeters long top trace Yeah, that's it. Hope you find it useful. I know it's not the best. <laughs> uh, I'm not great, as I said, uh, I'm not very good at rig making videos. But uh, but Rick's been doing the uh, doing the business for me. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, guys, please hit that uh, like button. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing. There will be more last video coming up shortly possibly this weekend again and uh, after that we'll be on the back on the cord again so stay tuned for the next episode guys thanks for watching